Hi, I'm Ashton, and I have some homework to do, so I'm gonna do some homework while talking about something um, that I can't talk about without being distracted by something, because otherwise I'll get really fucking dysphoric, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants a video of me crying. That would just be entertaining, yes, but also very sad. Also, if my hair looks weird, I apologize. I got a haircut today, and he put product in it, and I hate having product in my hair, so I've been like playing with it, because I always play with my hair, that's why I hate having product in it. I'm on a- this is a completely different topic, ignore my hair. Okay, let's continue now. So hysterectomy is something I've thought about for ages and I've gone back and forth on it for ages, but like, I finally feel like I know what I want. This angle is terrible. Is that better? Probably not. I feel like the further I get into my physical transition, the more I know what I want. And in this case, I mean like the closer I get to having my revision surgery, I'll be like, then I'm done with my chest. With testosterone, like I can't do anything but wait, you know, to see how it affects me. And after that, like, what is there? Um, and it's not that I'm obsessed with transition. It's not that I need to go further and further until I've gotten every surgery imaginable. That's not what this is about. This is just about me figuring out where I wanna be in my transition to be healthy and to be comfortable. And the more I think about it, the more I know that one of those things I need is a hysterectomy. And on one hand, it's cool to figure out what I want, but on the other hand, it's difficult knowing what I want, especially because I know that a hysterectomy might be even more difficult for me to get than top surgery for a multitude of reasons. One, because I'm young and, you know, obviously that makes it more difficult to get top surgery as well. But especially with your reproductive organs, a lot of doctors are just like, no, let's let's wait until you're older, even though like, I know that I want them gone, and I'm gonna talk about that in a bit as well. So I went and had an ultrasound four, three or four months ago to make sure that I didn't have any cysts or abnormalities in my reproductive organs because I had recurring periods for a long, long time after I should have stopped getting periods because of testosterone. Turns out I just had a slight hormone imbalance that I fixed by taking slightly more testosterone and I haven't had a period since the summer, which is lovely. Anyways, I went to get an ultrasound a few months ago and I asked the gynecologist at that appointment, like, hey, is there anything you can tell me about hysterectomy? Like, is that a possibility for me? Like, can we talk about that now since I'm here anyways? And she was just kind of like, well, you don't know what you want yet. Why don't we just wait on that? I get it. I know I'm young. I'm fully fucking aware. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't have bodily autonomy. It's something that I know I want. And I feel like that information is being withheld from me in a way. I just wish I was taken more seriously. I get if no doctor wants to give me a hysterectomy at 17 years old, like, that's perfectly fine. But once I'm, like, 18, if people start denying me a hysterectomy because I don't know what I want yet, like, fuck you. <laughs> it annoys me that my gynecologist even refused to give me basic information about a hysterectomy and how I might go about getting one because I'm too young and because I can't decide yet for myself. I still would like to know how I could go about that one day, and I do know, like, I know that I want a hysterectomy. I have never wanted to birth a child. That is something that gives me an immense amount of dysphoria, which is why I'm working on my homework currently, because if I talk about having those organs in me, I will cry. I <laughs> and I know damn well how much I would be helped by getting those things out, but because I'm young, it just keeps getting pushed back. And I don't want to, I don't want to rush it, you know, surgery is never anything I want to rush, but I just want to know about it, like, I just want to be told things. Um, so the reason I think I questioned hysterectomy for so long was because everybody else did, and not everybody else in the sense of, like, society or whatever, but, like, doctors in general, as well as people on the internet. I feel like when you think about a FTM, or transmasculine, in my case, transition, the things most people think about are top surgery and testosterone, both of which I'm good, I'm done. For me, I know that I need a hysterectomy. I I know that to feel like myself, I need that part of my body out. My uterus and all of its attached organs is something that makes me incredibly dysphoric, and anybody that I know can attest to this. Like, the things that have caused me the most dysphoria in my life are my hips, my chest, my chest I don't have to deal with anymore, my hips I can't really do anything about, and the existence of those organs. Um, 
talking about them sometimes can make me cry, which is why I'm distracting myself with my homework currently. The idea of carrying a child or birthing a child disgusts me, not in a way of like, oh, my mother carried a child, disgusting, I'm too good for that, but in the way of like, if I did that, I know that I would suffer. I would suffer for nine months straight. Massive respect to every trans guy that has ever carried a child. That is like incredible and I wish I was that fucking strong and that secure in myself. But for me, my dysphoria is so heavily attached to those organs that I just couldn't it just isn't for me, you know? I watched a YouTuber called Leo, um, who I'll link in the description, that recently got a hysterectomy about a month ago. Um actually a month ago as I'm filming this, but I don't know when you're seeing it, so and he's been making videos on it and the things that he says about his dysphoria surrounding his organs, um, or I guess now the organs that are no longer his, they are in a medical incinerator probably. Anyways, the, the dysphoria that he describes surrounding those is so, so much like how I feel about mine currently that it just kind of double confirms the fact that I know that I need this. He described kind of having a uterus as this constant anxiety and him having his hysterectomy has like lifted that from him and that's a lot how I feel. Even aside from the massive dysphoria that for me is tied to those organs, I have this like fear, this anxiety that just like looms over me. Um, and part of that is probably because I had such like horrible experiences with my menstruations, menst menst menstruation, my menstruation cycle which sucks and maybe if i had had an easier time getting out of that i wouldn't want to hysterectomy so badly my first step in medical transition that i took before i even started youtube um was a birth control called lolo estrin and it was supposed to help stop my period which for me was a huge dysphoria thing which is why i consider that part of my medical transition because it was supposed to halt this dysphoria thing what it did was make me bleed for five months straight. I had like a five month long period, not like off and on, like for five months, I bled out of my uterus straight. It was the worst five months I have ever lived through. And that has kind of now made me live in fear of my period because even though I haven't had it in such like a long time, I still constantly fear that if I miss my injection by like five minutes, blood will come pouring out of my vagina because that is not how the human body works. But here I am fearing it anyways because I, I'm so, so damn terrified of my own body. I would feel so much more comfortable and so much less dysphoric and so much more myself if it wasn't something I had to worry about. As a gay trans man or, you know, a trans man in a gay relationship currently, it's also a possibility, a very, very tiny possibility, but a possibility that I could get pregnant, and that's not something I want, ever. And one of the things that doctors will say to deter me from, not me in particular, but like people in general, from getting a hysterectomy or any form of birth control is like, but what if you need to carry a child one day? Like, what if you and your partner want to carry a child one day? First things first, it's my body, and if my partner wants to carry a child so badly that they want control over my body, they wouldn't be my partner in the first place. Secondly, I've been with Jack for nearly three years now, and we've had the conversation so many times about like, do we want kids? Maybe, but if we do, like, he's not gonna force me to carry a child. That would be shitty as hell. Like, I'm sorry, babe, you might be watching this, but you know that would be shitty. Like, he's not gonna do that. If I had a partner at any point in my life that wanted to control my body for their own good, hell no. Like, no, that's an immediate red flag. And I don't know why doctors don't understand that, that I can have like a healthy relationship with my partner regardless of whether or not I can carry a child. My validity as a partner is not attached to my reproductive organs. I don't need those to be a dad. I can adopt. I am completely okay with that. And how with the way science is going, Jack and I might be able to have like a genetic kid in 20 years. Literally, who knows? I am not about to cause myself years and years and years of dysphoria for the pure chance that maybe someday I might want to carry a child because as of right now, there's no way in hell that that's happening. For me right now, this feels really similar to how I knew I needed top surgery. It was this feeling of like, I know 100% I would feel so, so many times better if I did not have these organs. Denying me that and denying me the and denying me the ability to feel that and to know for myself what's good for me is shitty and it hurts and I don't fucking appreciate it, frankly. Also, on top of that, I have never had a pap smear and I do not want to, thank you very much. Getting a hysterectomy would take so many things off of my chest. 
um, not my chest, out of my stomach area. Getting a hysterectomy would make me no longer worry about my period, I wouldn't have to worry about pregnancy, I wouldn't have to worry about the future of my health, because if you still have a cervix, you have to get pap smears when you're older. And the idea of getting a pap smear itself is so dysphoria inducing, I cannot even describe it. The first time and the past times that I've talked about hysterectomy on this channel, it's been a I don't know. But now the further I get into my transition and the more I realize who I am and how I want to present myself and how I want to exist as a physical embodiment of me. <laughs> that does not include having a uterus. That does not include the ability to have a period, the ability to get pregnant, the the requirement of having pap smears. I don't want any of that. It, that just weighs on me so heavily. And getting my uterus out of my body would be a fucking relief. I complain about it all the time. I feel like I'm incomplete with it in me. I would rather have an empty cavity inside of me than this fucking organ. I feel like I've always expressed and I've always known that I want my uterus out. I want it gone. I want it in a medical incinerator. Thank you very much. But I've never really looked into hysterectomy as much as I have more recently. Um, and I've never known with such like a conviction that this is what I need and this is what I want. Which is why I feel like perhaps I haven't expressed it as strongly until now. But like ask literally anybody that knows me and they will tell you that I despise my uterus and I complain about it constantly. So, you know, there's that. Realizing that something is a possibility after you've struggled with it forever is something that feels really weird. I've dealt with the pain and the dysphoria associated with my reproductive organs for so long that the idea of having them out is almost surreal. Like the idea of not having to worry about that feels almost unreachable, even though I know it's a feasible thing that could happen. The biggest barriers are money, the medical system, and capitalism. <laughs> Capitalism's always a barrier. Don't you love capital? Fuck me. Don't actually, because I have a uterus and I could get <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Um, I just know that it's something that I've talked about before and something I kind of wanted to provide an updated personal view on. Um, I do want a hysterectomy. I don't know what kind of hysterectomy I want. I know I want my cervix out and I want my uterus out. I frankly don't care if my ovaries are left. I would probably talk about that with a doctor and see what like the implications of either choice are and what that would mean like long term. But I want my uterus out, I want my cervix out. I want it gone. Please take it out of me. I'm not doing self-surgery, but I am highly considering it. Okay, I do have to finish my homework now, unfortunately. Tomorrow is my last day of school before surgery, so I should have time to not necessarily make videos, but edit and do other things that are like related to the channel that are more behind the scenes, I guess. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for listening to me rant about how much I hate my body, because that's what I do here. Friday, I am getting my top surgery revision, so expect a lot of videos on that coming up. Um, it's gonna be just like last Christmas, where I was just like, I got my boobs cut off, except now it's like, I got my boob cut off sight area improved aesthetically, which is a lot longer to say and not as fun, but it'll still be something that I do want to talk about, but we're gonna talk about it later, so I should stop talking about it now and actually get my homework done instead of ranting about how much I hate my body, which I already said. Anyways, goodbye. I hope that you are in a good place with your body right now, and if you're not, I hope that you find a way to make your body more comfortable as a home for you, and I will talk to you later, maybe.